Age it is, um, pay attention to, to the time. Mm -hmm. Is it getting shorter? Um, if you choose to ignore it, like we just ignored that. Yeah. This is the example of ignoring. She wound up, she got quiet. I think you moved, so she started again, which it is important for them to be covered and not have a lot of stimulus to mm -hmm. sleep. But we want the dog to also be able to be confined in the same room with us without losing their shit. Mm -hmm. Because if we only put them in the crate when they sleep, so again, what you two have is the habit of a spoiled toddler who's just already all over the place. It's a habit already. Mm -hmm. I'm reviewing it because I'm gonna repeat things because of course I am, because you're not gonna remember everything, especially the important things. So I come in here and it's like, oh boy, I know what I'm in for and you're doing great. We've only had, this is only our third lesson. You guys are catching up and I'm sending you stuff to read and it's like, whoa, it's so much. So it takes time. So I appreciate your patience. So the ignoring works in this context because she finally gave up and we didn't react. And that reaction is what we spoke of yesterday inside you. Just let her just chill. So then you can ignore it. But if she keeps going and going and it's longer and you're ignoring isn't working, then you're gonna have to wait it out until she stops. And that means, can you wait that long because if you interrupt it every time and let her out, then that also can be troublesome. So let me ask you in the context of last night, she had fallen asleep, I think it was probably 7.30, mm -hmm. and she was in her crate, and she slept for probably about an hour and a half, maybe no, an hour, an hour and a half. two hours. Was it that long? Yeah, we would have eaten all Upstairs. our dinner and everything. Yeah, so anyway, for our, our, somewhere around there, and then that's when we came down and she woke up, and that's where we went to pee pee, and then came back, and I put her back in. How do you work with that in the sense okay, of pause. You know, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't make sure I'm clear. Yeah. You were eating dinner. Yeah. It was seven thirty. You said you put her in. Yeah. You went and ate dinner. You said that it was two hours that she was An in hour the crate. And a half, hour yeah. and a half. You came back upstairs. I she, came back downstairs. She was awake. Sorry, that is fine. She. I. We heard her once I was okay. upstairs. She did a little whine. Okay. Was not crying, but she was like, "Hey, I'm yeah. up." Kind okay. Of thing. Came out. Let her out. How'd you let her out? Uh. I just opened the door. The That's where I'm, I maybe, okay, this is where I want to help okay. you get into the habit of make sure she's calm. Yeah, and she looks was at calm. you. She and then calm. start building duration where you wait longer and longer. Okay. Because we're yeah. going to start adding distractions to help her understand that it's not just right now. I need her to learn slowly. First, that we'll start with um, distractions and then duration and then distance. Yeah. So those are I call the three Ds. So we got to go, like, we're just teaching her and then we build a little bit longer and slow down, okay. slow down reinforcement, wait longer okay. and watch her because she'll start to shift and she'll be like, ah, is yeah. this what you want? And you, you want her to learn to wait longer, okay. longer, okay. slowly. The issue with that for me, when I go to get her and she wants out, mm -hmm. I'm just there saying, I'm going to wait till you calm down. That's where you, where you can How do you do unlatch that? the gate. It's on the, we did this before. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. So tap the, the, tap the door. Just literally it, until she tap, sits. Tap, until she and then comes. stop and hold it with your hand and see if she if she backs even backs up and calms down. Then you can go bingo and open the gate. Or you can start to open it and if she starts to bolt, stop. Tap, tap, tap. You gotta teach her how to get back. And so you tap, tap the gate until she backs up. And then I actually will reinforce the dog at the back of the crate so that they're not sleeping on the front. They start to go to the back, which is part of what I'm showing you. We don't do this when she has to pee. That's the, that's the right. timing issues. That's why you want to practice. Hi, uh, Tristan. Trinity. Damn it, I was going to say that, but I said, I, see, I need practice to, to learn your name. Uh, okay, so. So, did, did, I, did I answer that? So, tap, tap, so unlatch the, fin the gate, the door. Tap, tap, which should interrupt her whining, like she's like, what's that? That's interrupting it. Then she settles. Then you're again, now you're waiting for her to calm down and look at you. And then when she does, you can say B-I-N-G-O and then open it up. To okay. let her out. Eventually it'll be B-I-N-G-O, wait, little food, and then free so that she learns that off switch. But this is the process of the steps. So whine, 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 meet her up the whining. Unlatch the gate. That could interrupt it. Barely open it. Tap, tap. Open it. Tap, tap. And no food. No. Yeah. Okay. That's one thing I want to be careful this, that yeah. you don't feel like you have to have food. You don't yeah, have to it have food. Feel you right have to have something to motivate time. her food. Toys. Like when I first I came, said, she I just want. She didn't want the food. She wanted the toy. She wanted interaction. Mm -hmm. 
So then she had to work for it. So when she was calm, I came in and I pet her. And if she starts mouthing me, I step away. She's tethered. Wait to see what she does. What are you going to do? Well, that just causes me to leave. But what if I sit back down? That's why you have to teach her eye contact so that when she's skills, we're going to teach her down and leave it so that when she's revved up, you can start to redirect her. Go to your place. Go to your crate. Right now, you don't have any words to teach her, so you're managing her. We got to teach her while we're managing her, she can start to learn what she's supposed to do instead. Your stop cue is important too, but we have to teach it. Uh, imagine the context of, again, that last night. So at that point, she was not tired. Okay, let's go back to that. So you came up because you heard her. Yeah, I came downstairs. I heard her. So yeah. I came. I, I, she was calm. She's pretty calm usually when I get her out as of right now because it's in the morning or something. Mm -hmm. And um, I put my coat on or whatever. But in that moment, I think she, she seemed to be calm. I looked at her. She looked at me. She came out okay. calmly. And I do always greet her. Doing that so you did that when I first came. It's what we all do. Yeah. Oh, we're this little um, puppy. But remember, oh God, that's where God. your impulse control, yeah. self control has to yes, come in. Is yeah. that we remember every moment she's learning. Yeah. Every moment she's already learned that uh, feet are toys. Yeah, yeah. That exactly. she's not going to just stop doing it. So you saw though how that floor cord is it's gonna have to, be, to help yeah. you, so that we can get her managed. So then we can say, hey, calm down. Yeah. Look at yeah. my eyes, and then we can teach her to lay down. Yeah. But right now, this is the this is the tough part. Is we're problem solving so that we can teach. Mm -hmm. So and avoid greeting her as I get her. Out. Trying to yeah. just hands off, calm yeah. signals. You're teaching her. Do you want her to learn that? I wait for mom to come in and da da da, and then she might bite your face or whatever yeah. happened before. That stimulation can get her. She's easily stimulated. Mm -hmm. That's again, so easily aroused and stimulated mm -hmm. because it's what she's been rehearsing. She's just saying, yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm sliding through them. Yeah. That's why we yeah. have to be open to confining her, mm -hmm. tethering yeah. her, and have her on a floor cord when she's not confined so that you can stop her and manage her to stop rehearsing this biting and chasing you because mm -hmm. you literally are swimming in the ocean with a shark. Yeah. So when we were like doing, let's say I'm looking after her on my own and I've got to Wait. do wash something up or Can something I? like that. Should she just be walking around with her with the floor leash? If she's or should not in I... confinement, she needs to be on a floor cord at all times. That's your training wheels. If she's not on the floor, but it's cord, okay you for guys... her to wander around like but this. You room. need to be have your eye on her. You need to know where she is. Otherwise, if I'm there. not, like I have to do something in the kitchen, just even for two minutes, then she's either in there or attached. Or the at, well X pen. But I wouldn't put her in there most of the time. The X pen is where you should put her and use that. Why would you put her in there? I'm. I'm. She's in there, for example, in the morning. I mm -hmm. mean, she's in there all night. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's saying, like, in the morning, if you're waking up and you're, like, making teas or things like that, <sighs> you're thinking of putting her back in there. Mm -hmm. When she's in there gone. all night, that's going to become, a, again, a cage, and it's not a pleasure anymore. Well, let me ask you this. What did she do from the time she woke up to the time that you now want to go do the dishes? What did you do between that time and that with her? Playing with her, I'm, si I'm so guessing. So you played, but not very long. That's what he's But this is about. what I'm, Ken, this is a good point. Yeah. You don't need long. What happened yesterday? I was 40, that was too long. And she gets over, it was almost too long here already. Example. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you, he, he said something and you wanted to finish her thing, right? That's mm -hmm. why you were like, okay, so, so let's just pause and breathe yeah. for a second. Thank you. Because there's so many things. Mm -hmm. um, Toby, I'm going to come back to yours. Because I want to show you guys. I'm going to give you a, a walk down of, of how to help you with this confinement. Mm -hmm. So that you're willing to, to be more open to understanding why. So I'm going to pause that for a moment. Okay, Toby? Mm -hmm. And I want to come back just so we can finish where mm -hmm. we're at before. Thank you. You were walking me through. You came downstairs. You don't remember, however, she was calm. You let her out. Now, this was after dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, you let her out, and then we went to pee. Went to pee. How was she going out the door? With um, did she walk? I think actually, I let her walk, and she did pee on the. Mm -hmm. I opened okay. the door, and she peed on the porch. You know, this beautiful <laughs> and all. We thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> but she was okay, so I let her pee. I didn't do anything. I wiped it down right away. Um, and then at that point. I walked back and she signaled to go on the bed. Mm. And so I think I tried to put her in her crate first and she was in her crate and she 
was whining. I guess she was a little bit whining. And I decided because we were going to be back in the crate in a little bit and would like for her to sleep the whole night to let her on the bed instead and chill with her on the bed. You see, 